So now you see that the half-life of uh, LipoGA is uh, increased by 24 compared to free GA. And uh, uh, this also leads to much, much improved um, uh, anti-cancer efficacy. So this model is introduced by um, subcutaneous injection of tumor cells uh, into mice. And then we initiate the treatment when the tumor uh, grew about a size of uh, uh, 100 millimeter qubits. And then we initiate only one dose of either um, saline as free control or free GA as four, uh, at 4 milligram per kilogram, lipo-GA at 4 milligram per kilogram, or lipo-GA at a higher dose, 20 milligram per kilogram. So you see that uh, the free drug is not really effective as uh, the, the tumor growth curve is overlapping with the saline control. And we have uh, match dose lipo-GA is significantly uh, improved in terms of efficacy compared to free drug um, as shown in the green line. And the most impressive formulation is the lipo-GA at a high dose at 20 milligram per kilogram you see that only one injection uh, completely regressed the tumor for about two weeks. So, um, so this is just uh, sh another example showing um, how we can use the SALT technique to improve drug delivery using liposomes. So uh, the final drug or the example is, uh, is mefloquine. So you see this the structure in here. Um, so again, it's a poorly water soluble compound. The solubility is about uh, 0.5 milligram per mL. Uh, but again, it's a weak based drug. Um, so it has a significant delivery problem. And uh, so one thing I, I need to mention that is a first line oral agent for acute malaria infection. Um, but it's uh, highly bitter, and there's no child-friendly formulation. So the real uh, limitation for this drug is that it's not water-soluble, and second, uh, it's highly bitter. So it's very difficult to produce a uh, child-friendly formulation, and this causes a lot of uh, problems in Africa. Um, so let's talk about malaria. So uh, many of you know that this is the most prevalent parasitic disease in the world. And uh, um, so accounting for 200 million cases per year. And as I mentioned, because there's no child-friendly formulation, so um, the uh, 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 children under the age of five um, are the most effective population. And accounting for 70% uh, death cases per year. So, a uh, very significant problem. So, we thought, well, maybe the salt technique can be used to resolve this uh, problem. Um, that's why we de developed this formulation called uh, Mephroquine Liposome or Meth Lipo. So, again, we use the salt technique to load this water poorly water-soluble drug into the core of liposomes and hoping to develop a child-friendly oral formulation. So uh, there are two uh, rationales behind uh, suggesting that this, this is a, a very good child-friendly oral formulation. First is that now with this technique and this formulation, we can disperse math in small particles um, this will allow a significant increase of solubility. As I mentioned, uh, the solubility of the drug is less than 0.5 mg per mL, but with the formulation, we can boost the solubility to 8 mg per mL. So a um, very, very significant increase of uh, solubility so that we can uh, really put this as a um, liquid formulation that children can swallow. And second is that uh, now the uh, the drug particles are loaded inside the lipid bilayer. Um, so the lipid bilayer will prevent direct contact uh, between the drug molecules and the taste buds. So um, it will reduce or abolish the bitterness taste, uh, taste of this drug.
Okay, let's, let's uh, show you some data to demonstrate the hypothesis. Um, the first one is uh, uh, bitterness major, measurement. Um, this, so this is done by Yitang. So Yitang is a biosensor equipment. Um, basically, we just need, need to stick a needle into the, the formulation and the machine will measure or quantify the bitterness for us. Uh, we compare four different formulations. The first one is 10% uh, sucrose. Second one is mefloquine suspension. This is uh, a current, uh, currently used formulation in Africa. Uh, so basically, parents just break the adult tablets uh, into small pieces, and then they grind up the, the tablets and to produce powder, and then they add dr the drug powder into uh, milk or uh, water or food, and then feed those into children. Um, so again, uh, the, the, the solubility is poor, and the dose is not accurate, and it's very bitter. So many children just spit up after ingestion of uh, mefloquine suspension. So not really a child-friendly formulation, and the next one is infant Tylenol. Many of you have used this uh, formulation before to your children. Um, so uh, it's well accepted um, uh, formulation with a good taste. Uh, the final one is uh, our formulation of full cream. And we are comparing uh, bitterness. So you can see the, um, uh, the these numbers. Uh, the numbers suggesting you know, if it, it goes higher, that means uh, it's really bitter. And if it goes lower or negative, that means um, it's, it's less bitter and probably sweet. Okay, so 10% sucrose, sugar water, negative. And mefloquine suspension, really bitter, so very high uh, vol uh, value of bitterness. And infantile tolerated the formulation by children uh, shows... Uh, decrease the bitterness score um, and uh, uh, look at uh, the mefloquine liposomes is just like sugar water, suggesting our technology is able to mask the taste of mefloquine. And now I want to talk about uh, why we want to develop a dried formulation of mefloquine. Uh, this is because, uh, as, as I mentioned, now we have a child friend friendly formulation in the liquid form. But the problem is that uh, this type of a liquid formulation needs to be stored at uh, low temperature. And sometimes you even need to add preservatives to increase the storage stability. And this is not really feasible in Africa because, uh, I mean, low, temp low temperature storage is not feasible in Africa. Um, and also some preservatives are toxic to uh, children, especially young children, like babies or newborns. Um, so that's why we want to prepare a solid formulation that can be easily swallowed. And the approach we are using is called freeze drying. Um, so we use a very state-of-the-art instrument called a freeze dryer. And then the freeze dryer will allow the completely removal of uh, um, the, the, the water in the formulation. But uh, in the meantime, preserve the structure of the lipid nanoparticles. So allowing the drug to be still entrapped in the lipid bilayer without causing bitterness. But in the meantime, uh, uh, very, very easy to hydrate. And this is our formulation. And uh, now without water, it's dried. And you see, uh, we are hoping that this formulation can be stored at room temperature without adding any preservatives. Um, so this is just showing that uh, uh, this formulation is um, readily uh, hydrated um, uh, in, in the presence of water. So you can imagine that this powder formulation can be put in the children's mouth and then it will dissolve right away. So it can be uh, easily swallowed. And again, this is uh, our powder formulation and this is under the microscope. And so my student is about to add water in here and you, you will see complete dis uh, dissolve of uh, the, the powder formulation and under microscope, you won't see this uh, solid. Um, so let's see if I can play the video. 
okay i i was i'm not able to play the video i guess so um so uh, but you can watch the video online it has been published in molecular pharmaceutics uh two years ago and the ne next and also the final uh data i want to show is uh now we have a formulation right so we really want to make sure that it's bioavailable. It can be absorbed um, by um, in vivo. So in this case, we use mice as a model to see if uh, our formulation can be absorbed. Um, so again, we compare different formulations, um, including mefloquine suspension and the liquid mefloquine uh, liposomes and lifelines or uh, freeze-dried mefloquine liposomes. Um, and we also have a, a reference formulation called mefloquine solution uh, given IV. But basically, you can see that uh, the liposomal formulations are equally uh, bioavailable compared to mefloquine suspension. And uh, um, again, this is just to demonstrate that the formulation uh, can, can uh, uh, be orally uh, dispersible and uh, uh, ingested um, by, by young children and uh, uh, also bioavailable. Uh, so that's it for today. Um, so again, uh, th this video just shows that um, the, this is a, the salt technology is really a platform technology allowing us to load water insoluble drugs into the core of liposomes and improve the loading efficiency and drug de delivery. And also we explore the possibility of using this technique to prepare child-friendly uh, formulation. And this is the first time that liposomes have been demonstrated as a vehicle to prepare child-friendly formulation. Thank you for watching.